Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of GNG News. Today we have a Scarlet and Violet Pokemon official booster pack to open up today. They've started to put the price of these Pokemon booster packs up. They are now costing around £4.29. So if you can get these cheap, try and get them cheap. I was able to get pick up this booster pack for £3.99. So I'm going to open this bad boy up today and hopefully I have pulled something decent. I've kept hold of it for a little while. So yeah, I hope there's something decent inside of this one. Um, so as it says on the back here, begin a new adventure with Pokemon EX set out for a journey in the Palladia region. Meet first partners Sprig Sprigolato... Fu, Coco, and Quaxley, and explore the power of the legendary Pokemon Cory, Don, and Miri, Miriadon as Pokemon EX. Other Pokemon EX evolved their way into battle, including Arcanine, Gyarados with a dazzling new look. Even more Pokemon appear as illustration rare cards with amazing artwork. Discover them all in the Pokemon trading card game Scarlet and Violet expansion. If you want to find out more about Pokemon, you go to www.pokemon.com. I think it says in total the amount of cards inside of this set. Uh, so it says, oh, they've changed the position of it, so it's by here. The Pokemon trading card game Scarlet and Violet expansion contains over 190 cards and each Pokemon Trading card game Scarlet and Violet Booster Pack has 10 cards and one basic energy. Each player must have 60 cards in total to create a deck in order to play the Pokemon game. Also, don't forget to check out the shorts that I do because I'll be opening the digital booster pack as well. Ooh, it's a green and white booster pack. But the thing is, they've changed it now because green and white booster packs technically the code cards doesn't really mean anything anymore. Anyways, let's start this off with our very first card for today. We have none other than a Grav Graveyard? Gre Gravard, I believe. 80 health points, Ghost Dog Pokemon, that's new. Uh, Dex entry of 971, has a move of Underworld, Underworld Stroll and Sharp Fang. 105 out of 198. Uh, let's read this little piece of information. So it says... This friendly Pokemon doesn't like being alone. Pay attention, even the slightest bit of attention, and it will follow you forever. Wow, that's a very loyal dog. That's a cool Pokemon. Another dog type Pokemon, I believe. Mastiff, which is a rascal Pokemon, which I think is a play on the word Mastiff and rascal. 70 health points, darkness type Pokemon, dex entry of 942, having a move of rear kick and darkness fang, 135 of 198, its well developed jaws and fangs are strong enough to crunch through boulders and its thick fat makes for an excellent defence, cool card, Spewper up next, Spewper up next, 70 health points, Grass type Pokemon has an ability of adaptive evolution. This Pokemon can evolve during your first turn or the first turn you play it. So that's actually a very useful Pokemon to have because you can't generally evolve a Pokemon in the first turn. Uh, it has a move, has a dex entry of 665, being a scattered dust Pokemon. Has a move of Bug Bite, 9 out of 198. Uh, Spupa doesn't live in a fixed location, it rooms where it pleases across the fields and mountains building up the energy it needs to evolve that's pretty cool meditate up next having 60 health points being a fighting type pokemon with a move of feet 307 is its dex entry being a meditate pokemon having so this information is it never skips its daily yoga training it heightens its inner strength through meditation 110 out of 198. Jach. Trainer supporter. Search your deck for up to two evolution Pokemon. Reveal them and put them into your hand and then shuffle your deck. You may play only one supporter card during your turn. 175 out of 198. Then we have Floragato. Flora, Floragato, I believe. 90 health points, which is a leaf type Pokemon. Um, dex entry of 907 being a grass cat Pokemon having a move of slash and leaf step um, 14 out of 198 deftly wields the vines hidden beneath its long fur slamming the hard flower bud against its body hmm. 
Zangoose. Never really liked this Pokemon. This Pokemon always reminds me of just another clone of Pikachu. And I'm kind of getting bored of these like Pikachu clones. But anyways, 110 health points, normal type Pokemon, dex entry of 335, being a cat ferret Pokemon, having a move of drag off and slashing claw. It survivors up. Uh, it, uh, it's Survivor's arch rival. To threaten those it encounters, its fans out the claws on its front paws. 147 out of 198. Tropus, which actually grow fruit, which is pretty cool. 100, 100 health points being a leaf type Pokemon, having a move of fresh picked fruit and razor leaf. 357 is its dex entry, being a fruit Pokemon. 7 out of 197. Uh, it lives in tropical jungles. The branches, the bunches of fruit around its neck are delicious. The fruit grows twice a year. So if you had this Pokemon, essentially, you could make a lot of money by selling fruit. Uh, we have a set Setodile. Set set Setodile. Uh, 8 health points, water type Pokemon, dex entry of 974, being a Terra Whale Pokemon. Okay, so that's supposed to be a whale on land. Having a move of Tackle, 50 out of 198. It lives in, well, in frigid regions in pods of 5 or so individuals. It loves the minerals found in snow and ice. Huh. Oh, okay, so I guess this is the pull for today. We have a Clef Key, 70 health points, psychic type Pokemon, having an ability of mischievous lock. As, it, as long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, basic Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponents have no ability except for mischievous lock. It has a move of Joust, 96 out of 192. In the past, uh, noble families entrusted their vault keys to Klefki. They passed the Klefki down through the generations, taking good care of it. That's pretty cool. 70 health points, psychic type. And it is a key ring Pokemon. 707 is its dex entry. And the final card for today was a basic energy, um, electric type energy. There's not really much I can say about this. It just says S. V E E N 004. So, yeah, that's that one. Um, so, the best pull today was this Clef Key card. So, I'm going to add this into my collection. If you've enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications if you haven't done already. I appreciate your time here today, people. I am GNG News. You guys are my lovely audience. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all in another episode real, real soon. All right. Okay. Peace.